now that the presidential candidate or the nominee has been disqualified, the commission is to, would like to inform you that the balloting. Welcome to GH Celebrity News. For Electoral Commission of Ghana has done something which has drawn the whole world attention to that particular thing. In recent times, one of the presidential candidates, Equia Donko, passed away, and then it was back and forth. And Electoral Commission gave an opportunity for the party to select someone who will come for a form to stand for her now roman father who was running for the vice for her took the form and then felt the process in which a donko passed through to fill the form was the same process which this roman father mrs jen mesa announced the whole thing and then how the filler triggered a lot on social media now mr cesar you know i make so say over subscribe and i bet can't be sure cool way now be 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 a bit talk from piano it'll be baby someone i was so what took a one corner ah would be better to work on all right i was here for young coffee land you know good to jane mesa maybe away the commission received notice of the home call of madame the period of the 29th of october 2024 Per Article 54 of the 1992 Constitution and Regulation 13.4 of CI 127, the Commission wrote to the Ghana Freedom Party and provided them a period of 10 days within which to file a new candidate. Article 50 of the 4 of the 1992 Constitution reads, where at the close of nominations but before the election, one of the candidates dies a further period of 10 days shall be allowed for nomination. In that respect, the Commission wrote to the Ghana Freedom Party and asked them to present a new candidate within 10 days. In fulfillment of that request, the Ghana Freedom Party presented Mr. Apia Kubi, who was before then the vice presidential candidate to Madame Ekwe Adonko. The party presented him as a presidential candidate of the Ghana Freedom Party. He and the party went on to submit their nomination forms on the 5th of November, and our technical teams went to work immediately reviewing these, the nomination forms. At the end of the process, they detected a number of errors and some illegalities with the form. The candidate's attention was drawn to these errors and the party was provided an opportunity to correct them. They did that. In the view of the commission, it was not in our bosom to provide the political party the opportunity to correct some of the illegalities that we found on the form. In that respect, the party did not draw their attention to it because the commission does not feel that it is in its bosom to allow any political party to correct illegalities with the form. At this point, Jemesa was drawing closer to the unexpected. The commission, therefore, as of yesterday, wrote to the party and to the candidates, disqualifying him from contesting the 2024 presidential election. Well, Abjafo, Wawa Suma, this is the results. It has generated a whole lot of mixture, which everybody is like. So what is going to happen to that position? Now, it is simple and short. It is going to be there. No one is going up, no one is coming down. They will maintain it as it is. NDC for number eight is still for number eight. NPP for number one is still for number one. Nothing has changed, just that. This morning, we are here to inform you of the Commission's decision to maintain the presidential ballot as it is. As you may be aware, and I believe all of you have representatives in the printing houses, we are almost 90% complete 
with the painting of presidential ballots. And you are also aware that following the passing of Madame Ikria Donko, we requested the painting houses to cease painting until you know the you know the law had taken its course. Hi guys, my name is Sadina Thembi and you're watching GH Celebrity News. Stay tuned. Now that the presidential candidate or the nominee has been disqualified, the commission is to, would like to inform you that the balloting, the printing would proceed on the current ballot as is in the interest of time and to save this country millions of cities. And so this is the whole filler in town. Ah, Mr. Yeribesomo, in the news of Ghana political sector anymore. Yes, this is what transpired and easy about internet. Abekasa. Alright, I wish I for Tamu Chukru, Nabekan Bishnako we say we knew I make so over subscribe and I turn on the notification bell to be part of this wonderful family. Eh Moson for Azazi aka you be the head. Medasi Pia Hi, wonderful people. My name is Akuma Mama Zimbi, and I love to read and listen to GH Celebrating News. And I say, 